welcome to Down to Earth. I'm Daphne Richards. Our question this week is from Jennifer, whose peach tree is bleeding marble-sized balls of sap along the trunk as well as along the middle and upper branches. As a good plant detective, she peeled off the hardened balls of sap and looked underneath. At first, she didn't see any holes until she used a magnifying glass. While holes on fruit trees often indicate borers, Jennifer didn't see any insects or larvae, and the holes that she saw were very small. She also noticed that all of the branches that had oozing sap had very few leaves on them, while the rest of the tree appeared healthy. Well, this is a great and very timely question. With our record-breaking drought and heat, all of our plants and trees are suffering, as you know, but fruit trees are even more sensitive to drought stress than other trees. We consulted Dr. Larry Stein and Jim Comas, fruit tree specialists with the Texas AgriLife Extension Service. They both agreed that the problem here is bacterial canker, which is very common on stressed peach, plum, and other stone fruit trees. Unfortunately, Jennifer, as with most plant diseases, there is no cure for this. But the best thing to do is to prune out the affected leafless limbs and then begin a thorough watering and fertilization regime for the tree. Be sure to water year round, which most people don't do, not just in the summer. Proper watering and fertilization are also the best way to prevent bacterial canker before you get it. And be sure to watch for rain during the fall and winter and also in the spring and adjust your irrigation regime appropriately. Thanks Jennifer for sending us this great question. Our plant this week is Agastache Acapulco Salmon in Pink. Thank you to Diana Kirby for sending photos from her garden. She's had this perennial for a couple of years and it's been planted in morning sun with afternoon shade. This Agastache cultivar gets about two and a half feet tall and a foot and a half wide. It's a member of the mint family and has lovely mint scented leaves. Agastaches have the common name of hummingbird flower and this one is covered in delicate orange and pink tubular blooms all through the summer. This perennial does die back to the ground in winter, but comes back and is again covered in blooms through spring and summer. But it may not flower as long during times of exceptional heat and drought as we're having this summer in 2011. This Agastache is smaller and more compact than some of the other available cultivars, so it looks great at the front along beds and borders. It tolerates slightly heavy soil, but prefers a little drainage, so don't overwater it or over fertilize it. If they get overgrown, simply dig and divide them in the fall to place in other areas of your garden. You may also find some errant seedlings, but this plant is not really invasive. Our pet of the week is Flash the Wonder Cat, who adopted Robin Mayfield as a four month old stray. He's now nine years old. He rules the garden, preferring the outdoors, even in rain. He'll actually wade through puddles to get wet. So Robin, are we sure that Flash is actually a cat? His name comes from his incredible speed and dexterity. He supervises all garden projects, though he relies on Robin to do the work. Okay, I guess Flash is really a cat. To do this week, fertilize fall bloomers and give them a light trim. We'd love to hear from you. Please visit klru.org ctg to send us your questions and pictures.